Uh, three, two, one. Thanks for joining. So here we are at this guy's channel, right? He's African, and he has proof and verification, right? Um, and this is the problem with uh this non-society, this non-nation, right? You're not black, but right? so he stopped calling everybody black. So he's prepping up his people to say what? They're African. And look what he sells, right? Right? Reparations debt collector. That don't make people look like greedy niggas, right? You ever hear this man talk about religion out here? That's the sun on his shirt, right? Now, this symbol is the sun around the earth, but what is this symbol? That's not the earth in the center, right? No. No. Right? Well, the ink, right? Right in your face. Right? White man with 4% African DNA wants to be labeled as black. Now, when you see this stuff, most people cannot handle this information. Let's see what some of the comments say. Bloody Pawn Live says, I've met white people who like to play black as soon as they, what, think they have to deal with the repercussions of being black. They have no problem going back to white again. Watch this. Taylor said, if he's black, then I'm a white Italian with grandparents from Greece. If this person matches this meme. She does not know how close she is to the truth with her sarcasm. We told you each time when you see Caucasian people. Let's go back to his little symbol. All right. When you see these Caucasian people. And they do their DNA test. John got his DNA test. They will show you. A pyramid that's upside down. They will show you a pyramid like this. And it's going to be numbers, right? Line by line by line by line. Right? Now. If you take those numbers and you draw a mass at the top, see what that is? It's a little tree. It's like a little goofy piece of broccoli, but it's going to match that pyramid that they show you. Now, you're going to get 38%, blah, 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 21%, blah, blah, blah. 10%, blah, 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 3%, 2%, blah, 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 1%, blah, blah, blah. Now, when you take those numbers, when you start constructing them into a grid, that's what you're going to get. That's the fucking family tree that you're going to come from. Here's the interesting thing about the family tree. It'll say 30, 38%. Euro. And this means they went around and searched the area and they found bone with DNA that match your bone. Not specifically the DNA of your bone. That means they found your brother, your cousin, great, 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 great cousin, great, 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 great cut, right? Doesn't matter. Mom side, dad side, really doesn't matter. They found relatives, people pertaining to you. You take your image. If you're a, you're in a you're in a mixed basket right now. You're in a fruit cocktail right now. You're in Babylon soup. J looks mm, like one. Barry looks nothing like J, who's his neighbor, right? But if there is just a neighborhood of all J's, ones, and a neighborhood of all Barrys, twos. They look relatively alike. 
They'd have the same skin color, same hair color. The only difference would be their personality and how their personality affected their appearance. Long hair, short hair. Nice clothes, not nice clothes. So that's what these numbers are. So when they say 38% euro, that means 38% of what they found making up you was found in Europe. Now, you know and I know in modern times, white men claim that they're from Europe. It don't mean that they weren't there, but they claim that's their origin. But see, the DNA test put the 38% where you claim to be Euro or where they say you're Euro all the way up at here at the top. And that has nothing to do with down here, the base of the tree. Because remember, to make you, it only took two people. So go back to two people, that would be Adam and Eve. How many people had to mate to create you? Right? So when you do your DNA backwards, it's going to be you right here at the point. And it's going to be right where these two points mean. That's mom and dad. Where these next two points mean, that's four people. That's Mom's mom, mom is dad, dad's dad, dad's mom, right? See how that keeps multiplying each time? The next is eight. Great great grandparents. You got four male great 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 grandparents. You got four female. See each time it go up that line, they, they go the actual opposite. Right? Because it's had family trees. So when you sit there and say, 10, 3, 1% on a family tree. That's the root. If they're telling him 4% of your African uh, of your DNA is African, it's it's not the way it reads. A percentage of your African of your DNA was related to Africa. When they say four percent, that more be like a starting line and a finishing line. Right? It would be like that. So, finish is going to be 100%. Is anybody 100% anything? No. Start is the root. The finish is the last people groups. Your dad into let's say your dad don't look nothing like your mama but they made it when they go into your family tree down here at where that sharp point is where the roots gonna be that is not gonna end up being your mama's DNA That's going to be your daddy's DNA. So the oldest DNA in your body is going to be the lowest percentage. So when they show you this white man that says, I tested and my test said I'm 4% average. They're telling him that in the beginning of time, his family is labeled Africans in Africa. You've watched before, you've seen the woman with blonde hair, they did her DNA test, they showed her DNA test, said your blood group starts in the center of Africa. They tracked her blood showing they came out of Africa, went into Neander Valley, Germany, Left a Neanderthal. At the end of her test, I'm Neanderthal. This matches all the stories. 
this man on to, uh, uh, that they talking about with four percent African DNA. It's gonna be the same thing. During the time of what? The beginning. It don't matter what part you look at it. When everybody get off the boat. Noah's boat. This person's people go to Africa. And that's the bottom line. When the Hebrews are wherever they at, this white person is black and in Africa. And then later, curses are passed out and they lose their pigment. So now, you have this ignorant man. Ignorant means not knowing. You have this ignorant man another time on screen talking about things way above the complexity of his mind. Now, 18 minutes, he gonna make a video. How many jokes that aren't funny? Do you think he's gonna try to squeeze in there? How many times is he gonna try to reinforce that he is the African and speak for you? He, he ain't never seen your birth certificate and he gonna say, you're the African. But at no point, the person with the real fucking African DNA, is he going to say, that's the real African. Now you see what you're up against. Why the white man, the white man calling you an African, and he's the real African. You got people that look like you saying, Africa, Africa. Reinforcing. Your oppressor's words. Constantly reinforcing your oppressor's books. Your oppressor's DNA come out saying, I'm actually African. Which got nothing to do with black. And this person twists the story or does he twist your mind? I have a son. If I taught my son we were nuked in 1979, the half of the United States was destroyed, does that make me a liar for teaching him lies? If he goes to school the next day and starts saying, hey, in 1979, we were nuked. If I started telling him, Oh yeah, Machiavelli was the president and uh, George Washington was his ambassador. Unlike usual, the ambassador pushed the, the button instead of the president. And he goes out there, believe me what I say, go out there in everybody's face, screaming and yelling, we were nuked in 1979! Does that mean we were nuked in 1979? This goes... Dumb people who don't know where the fuck they're from and don't know where the fuck you are from always sit here and waste time brainwashing you for their master. Doesn't mean they're right. I brought these issues up about this character before just because they dress his ass in some cheap thrift store suits. Don't mean he's ever telling the truth. Just because they dress anybody up doesn't mean those people are dressing, uh, uh, telling the truth. I encourage you to watch whom you watch. Because so many things are being placed in front of you so you get tricked. And you're not going to be willing to see it because you're going to tell yourself, oh, that person meant well. Is that Apple? 
an apple, a sun, and sun rays. Right? Why these stars? One, two, three. People that deal with politics deal with stars. Does this look like a politician? You got to be kidding me.